Hi, this is Nate Short, and welcome to my January 2016 Short Report, where we're going to go over what's happening here in our local community, the Clyde Hill community, Yarra Point, Hunts Point, and Medina, and just give you some statistics as to what's going on. So a lot of you have listened to my short reports in the past, and it kind of covered general statistics for the east side in Seattle, but in this report, we're going to start doing more of a specific community-focused uh, report because I was getting a lot of questions about, hey, Nate, you know, what's happening in the market? So uh, what is happening? Well, so our supply of homes actually down about four. 42% from this time last year. We have about 0.7 months supply, which is extremely low. It's actually historically very low, and and uh, that means that there's a lot of pressure on pricing. The prices actually are up about 10% over this time last year, and of course that's just indicative of, su of supply demand. 30% of our listings are selling above list price, which uh, is not surprising. However, 50% of the homes are sitting on the market more than 60 days and having to either reduce the price by uh, their list price to get it sold or they're having to take a lot less for the home uh, on lower offers that are coming in, which we'll see here in a minute. Um, the average days on market, well, it's down about 62 days. So if you're putting your home on the market, you can expect it to take about two months. And our average price per square foot, I didn't put this on the slide, but is up to about $537 per square foot. So let's take a look at some of the sales that happened in the month of December. This particular home here on 92nd and about 21st actually sold for uh, 142. It was on the market for about 25 days, or 25 days exactly. Uh, originally listed at 1495 and was about 3,100 square feet. Moving on to this home, which is north on Northeast 25th, kind of by the four-way stop uh, in Clyde Hill moving west. This home sold for 2.417 Five. It was 5110 square feet, and the the interesting thing about this home is it actually started at 2.925 million, was on the market for 152 days. So they took over 500 thousand dollars less than um, the original asking price. So another good example of where pricing is super super important. This is an example I wanted to throw in. You know, you could drive anywhere over Clyde Hill, and you'll see all these lots being developed. Well, this is about a 15 thousand square foot lot on Northeast 25th Place. And uh, it sold back in 2013, so the people bought it, held it, and waited to uh, to build on it. They paid a little bit less than uh, 1.4 million at that time, and it proved to be a pretty good buy because now those lots are going for a lot more. In fact, this is right down the street on Northeast 26, sold for 1.56 million. My team and I actually represented the buyer on this home, and it's a little over a half acre, uh, but a great lot that looks north uh, over like Washington towards Kirkland. This home here, a uh, nice big half acre lot, sold for. 1.77. I was on the market 18 days. They ended up taking about 50,000 less the original asking price. But as you can see, there's some trucks in the driveway where they're doing some remodeling and already starting that project. But just sold, you know, again, these homes just sold back here in the last 30 days. Um, moving on, driving down 24th, you see the fire station here on the right. Uh, on the left hand side, you will see a home that actually is a small little home on about a 12,000 square foot lot. Originally listed at 799, ends up selling for 920. 000, so 121,000 over the actual list price and sold very quickly in eight days. It was only 1,200 square feet built in 1955, but just, you know, just indicative of how the real value of land. This home over here on Northeast 30th, uh, more towards Bellevue Way, actually sold for 1465. Started at 178 though, and was on the market for 89 days. Very challenging, as you can see that driveway. You have to drive over a bridge, and it's kind of a funky lot. So, um, and there's some sensitive areas that, that you have to abide by for some setbacks. And then this home over on Northeast 30th, well, it sold for 2.285. It was on the market 91 days, and they ended up actually taking over $200,000 less than the original ask price too. So, you know, we're seeing a lot of that where people will overprice, and then I think ultimately they don't get as much for the home as they normally would. This home just completed in 2015, sold for 255. That was just off of Bellevue Way in Northeast, uh, Northeast like 20, 20th or 21st. Uh, 52, 11 square feet though, and a real nice home. And again, you know, there's lots like this that are being developed all over Clyde Hill and Bellevue. A lot of people drive by these homes on, on 92nd, the Stephen Smith homes. There's two right next to each other. They have great views of the lake, the mountains, uh, westerly views, but they're, they haven't actually priced these. I called Mark Vonderberg, and he uh, has said that, you know, they're kind of waiting to price. They're going to be done here in the next few months, but we're anticipating they'll be in the high fours, maybe even the low fives, uh, surprisingly, because, you know, they do back to a busier street, but they do, um, you know, those are the prices that they're getting, and people are paying, you know, 
a million seven million to two million dollars just for the dirt on these properties alone so hopefully that gives you an idea of what's happening in the Clyde Hill market and surrounding communities of course uh, I'm always here to help and if you have anybody that's moving into the area that you know or that's looking to uh, get more information about the real estate market please have them give me a call thanks for listening to the short report and uh, you can expect these to come out every month so uh, hopefully you can subscribe to this uh, to this channel and, and go from there Thanks again and Happy New Year.